sixth grade, module six, lesson two, classwork. Example one, heart rate. Mia, a sixth grader at Roosevelt Middle School, was thinking about joining the middle school track team. She read that Olympic athletes have lower resting heart rates than most people. She wondered about her own heart rate and how it would compare to the other students. Mia was interested in investigating the statistical question, what are the heart rates of six students in my sixth grade class? Heart rates are expressed as beats per minute or BPM. Mia knew her resting heart rate was 80 beats per minute. She asked her teacher if she could collect the heart rates of the other students in her class. With the teacher's help, the other sixth grade students, sixth graders in her class found the heart rates and reported them to Mia. The following numbers are the resting heart rates in beats per minute of the, for the other 22 students in Mia's class. So it lists all 22 students beats per minute. So what we're gonna do is create a dot plot of our heart rates. I'm gonna go over here and draw a line. And then let's look at the data points that we have. So we have anything ranging from, I see a 90, is there anything higher than 90? So the highest heart rate was 90. So I'm gonna put 90 on this end. And then the lowest heart rate, let's see. There's a 79. Is there anything? Nope, nothing else in the 70s. So we're gonna go from 79 to 90. Let's see, right in the middle would be about like 85. So 86, 87, 88. 89, and then I'll fill in these others. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, it's called a dot plot. So let's say dot plot of heart rate. So we're literally going to put a dot on the plot for every number that we see here. So let's start over here. So we have 89, 87. I'll cross it off, what are we doing? So 89, 87, 85. So 89, 87, 85. Let's do three more. 84, 90, 79. So 84, 90, 79. 83, 85, 86, 83. Okay, there's already one on 85, so I'm just gonna put another one right above it. 85, 86, 88, 84, 81, 88, 84, 81, another 88, 85, 83, 88, 85, 83, 86, 82, 83, 86, 82, again, and 84. Okay, so there is my dot plot. And so let's go through and answer some of these questions about it. So what was the heart rate for the student with the lowest heart rate? So we can look at our dot plot and see that the lowest heart rate right here is 79. So the lowest heart rate was 79 beats per minute. What was the heart rate for the student with the highest heart rate? So now what's the highest heart rate? It was here, 90. How many students had a heart rate greater than 86? So we went greater than 86, meaning not 86. So we're gonna skip 86. So how many had greater than 86? So anything this way. So one, two, three, four, five. So that would be five students.
what fraction of students had a heart rate less than 82. So we're looking at less than 82. That means not including 82. So just two students had a heart rate of less than 82. And we put, want to put it in a fraction. So two out of, there were 22 students. So two out of 22, or we can reduce that to one out of 11 students, not one out of 100, one out of 11. What heart rate occurred most often? So we're looking for the one that has the most dots. So 83 has the most dots of four. So 83 beats per minute was the most common. What heart rate describes the center of the data? So what we're gonna look at, at is which one is in the center. So what I would do is go through and cross off. I'm gonna go through, so there's one on each side until I find the middle one. So either 84 or 85 would be the middle. So you can pick 84 or 85. Seven, some students had heart rates that were unusual in that they were quite a bit higher or quite a bit lower than most other students' heart rates. What heart rates would you consider unusual? So the outliers here are the ones that are a little bit bigger, as I would say 79 was pretty low, right? And then 90 was the highest. So 89, 90 was pretty high and 79 was pretty low. lower than usual. Number eight, if me as teacher asked what the typical heart rate is for sixth graders in the class, what would you tell me as teacher? So looking at this, what would we say that the typical heart rate is? So you could either choose, there's different options. So you could choose 83, you could say 83 is the most typical because it has the most amount of students there. You could say maybe 84 or 85 because they're the ones that are in the middle. So it's kind of like the average. So there are different things, different options or ways to interpret this question. So I'm going to say that the typical was, let's go with 83. I'm going to say most students had a heart rate of 83 beats per minute. Remember that Mia's heart rate was 80 beats per minute. Add a dot for Mia's heart rate to the dot plot in example one. So let's go back and add one for Mia. She was 80. So now there's 23 students on here. How does Mia's heart rate compare with the other heart rates of the students in her class? So if Mia's right here at 80, how does that compare? So she seems to be on the lower end of the heart rate. So her heart rate is lower than most students. Say so her heart rate is lower than all but one. but one of her classmates. All right, we're gonna skip example two because it's just 
it's um, there's really no questions. It's just a classroom discussion. So I'm going to go on to exercises 11 through 14. Below are four statistical questions and four different dot plots of data collected to answer these questions. Match each, each statistical question with the appropriate dot plot and explain each choice. So there's four dot plots down here, A through D, and we're matching them with 11 through 14. So what ages are fourth graders in our school? So looking at the dot plots, we have the choices are nine and 10, between zero and eight, one, two, or three, or between 58 and 72. So which dot plot makes sense for the ages of fourth graders? Well, sixth graders, you guys are usually like 11 and 12 years old, so fourth grade is two years less than that. So that would be like nine and 10 years old. So the only dot plot that makes sense here would be dot plot A, because we have some nine-year-olds and we have some 10-year-olds. So let's say dot plot A, because fourth graders are usually nine or 10 years old. Okay, 12, what are the heights or of the players on the eighth grade boys basketball team? So we're looking for heights. So I don't think anything that's like zero, I don't know, nobody is zero height, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't be here. Um, so dot plot B doesn't make sense. One, two, or three, I don't know, one, two, or three feet. That also, it's a pretty short eighth grade boys basketball team. Or it looks like this one, 58 to 72, that's probably measured in inches. So that makes more sense. That's around like four, five, six feet. So let's go with dot plot B. Because the team is probably measured in inches between, let's see, what do we have? 58 inches and 72 inches, or there's a 73. Thirteen. How many hours of TV do sixth graders in our class watch on a school night? So we're left with, we've used A and D, so we're left with between zero and eight hours, or one, two, and three hours. I mean, I could see them both making sense, so let's look at 14. How many different languages do students in our class speak? So some people, could anyone speak zero languages? That wouldn't make too much sense. And eight languages is a lot. That would be very impressive if there were some people who spoke eight, seven, six, five languages. That's quite impressive, but highly unlikely. So it's more likely that dot plot C would be the languages because people probably speak one. Most people probably speak one language. Some people might speak two and some people might speak three. So let's say dot plot C for the languages. because everyone's, because most people speak English. And some know one or two others. But knowing seven other languages, that's a stretch. And then how many hours of TV do sixth graders watch on a school night? So that would be, we left with anywhere between zero and eight, which makes sense. Some people might say, I don't watch much TV. Some people watch a lot of TV, so. It kind of makes sense, most people are around like two hours or less. All right, and that is the end.